hello good people welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to set up google ads conversion tracking for lead form submission and definitely i will show you how to make it enhanced conversion so to create google conversion tracking first you need to create google tag manager account and i believe you can easily get google tag manager account because it's very easy task so first after creating google tag manager account you need to connect google tag manager account with your website so first you need to copy your head section code from gtm then go your website backend and here you can see this is my uh, client wix website so first i need to connect google tag manager account with my wix website how we can do that so first you have to first log in your wix backend and if you are freelancer definitely your client uh, give you login details then you need to go uh, settings uh, it's process of like how to connect google tag manager account with wix website and here if you scroll down you should see one option that is like custom code here you can see custom code and now here you can see add custom code and here you can see paste the code snippet here so that means you can paste here your copied google tag manager code here and then select uh, all pages and just and also here uh, place code in head section because it's head section code and then right here your code name like it's a gtm head code so just write here your snippet name and click on apply so first code injection is done now you need to add another one that is body section code so add here again and open your google tag manager account copy your body section code and it's optional but it's good if you connect this so just paste here this code and again write here like gtm gtm body code and now you need to place uh, place this code in the body section and just click on apply okay you can see tag assistant connection is done now if i go tag manager and if i go preview mode we should see our tag manager is connected with our website so let's check for that go preview mode and here you have to paste your website uh, and then just click on connect if tag assistant is connected with your website properly then here we can see then we should see here it's connected yes tag assistant is connected and if i go this section i mean tag assistant tab here you can see our uh, gtm is properly connected with our website now time to track lead form submission that means if someone visit our website through google ads and submit our this contact form we can how we can track it so let's first submit this form okay for testing purpose let's uh, click on send button if i go tag assistant nothing is happening here but we can see here like form start but it's not like form submission is complete so if I go to this section and if I submit this uh, form for testing purpose, testing, and then if I click save button, we should see our uh, yes lead forms lead form submission is complete. So now if I go tag assistant tab, we should see like even name generate lead, but in this data layer, we can't see our phone number like user phone number to make enhanced conversion tracking user information is must we need to send to google ads through google tag manager so we need to push share user email and also user phone number so how you can do that for this i need to use one data layer code that help me push user information in data layer and then we can create data layer variable and then we can send this variable to google ads so let's first create um even listener tag for that we need to select custom html and here I need one even listener code i have already write this code and if i copy this code here and paste here then i need to select triggering all pages and then i need to save this uh, tag is like um, lead form lead form then just save this form now we need to go again preview mode and submit our form to test purpose our, our data is properly working or not so again we need to go preview mode so i just uh, reload this page yeah i am here preview mode you can see and now let's submit again test send and if i go tag assistant we can see here is one name is like ib underscore form submission and here we should see our phone number yes user email and phone number so yeah that is the important thing we need to send this user email and phone number to google ads for make this conversion enhance and now what i need i need to just first create tigger in google tag manager so i'm copy this even name and go tigger section and then select new 
here we need to create one ticker and ticker type will be custom event and paste here your event name that you copy from your preview mode and just uh, write here your ticker name like form submission form submission that's it okay just save this ticker name now we need to create two variable one for phone number another one for email so go variables and here again select user different variables variable configuration select data layer variable and to access this uh, email you have to just copy user email variable name and then and then paste here variable name just save this variable like user email and then copy also phone number just copy these variables just wait yeah just copy this variable name and just send here i mean save here and then also we need another one variable uh, user provided like user provided variables and select email from here uh, sorry yeah email perfect then phone number just save this variable and you might be thinking what is this uh, like first name last name you need first name last name no uh, for this uh, section for e-commerce business but this is b2b business that's why we need to just only send email and phone number okay then save this variable our work almost done now we need to create tags okay so let's create tag just first i need to create like conversion linker tag and this linker tag file will be all pages just save this conversion linker now another tag we need to create one is for google tag and this is for like connect google ads with your website through this tag okay so first i need to open my google ads account now okay so here you can see i have just opened my google ads account and now we need to create conversion in google ads so just click create a conversion action and here you have to select conversion on a website so i just select a conversion on a website and here select add url and here you need to paste your website url and then click on scan so just paste my website so i just paste here my website link then click on scan now here take some time then you can see uh, some option like this but you have to select google tag then select setup now maybe you can see one pop-up message from google and here you have to select uh, install manually then copy this uh, code like config id just copy it and open your google tag manager account just paste here config id then save this tag and you can just write here like mm, g ads config okay then just save this tag and this tag triggering will be all pages so just i just save this okay perfect so conversion linker tag creation done config tag creation done i mean gs config tag now we need to create main tag that one is for lead form submission so i need to get another one tag and this time i'll choose like google ads conversion tracking and here we need to input our conversion id from google ads so just go google ads click cancel done and select save and continue and here we need to create first conversion in google ads then we can set up through google tag manager for that this is our form submission so i like to select this one like form like submit lead form and then press on add conversion action select untitled tag set up manually using code uh, then select this as a primary conversion for optimization then write here your conversion name so as it is i need to just add here gtm so that my client can see here yes this conversion set up through gtm and here you can see value section you can select use the same value for each conversion because this is lead form submission conversion so uh, like use different value for each conversion it will be for e-commerce business so just select this one then scroll down here you can see count section for counting section 
for lead form submission you should select one like you can see here recommended for lead so scroll down and here you can see some option you don't need to do anything with here but you need to just open this option like enhance conversion if i select conversion settings i can see maybe one option just select first create and continue and we can just enable enhance conversion option from this section but before that we need to first complete this uh, step and you have to wait here a little bit just click on continue okay yeah you can see enhanced conversion you have to just enable this click on agree then select this option google tag manager and click on save yeah that's it now uh, you can just uh, refresh this page and then here you can see our submit lead form uh, conversion tracking uh, i mean conversion creation is done now we need to go uh, this and now if you scroll down you can see tag setup so select tag setup now you need to select use google tag manager and here you can see your conversion id and conversion label just you need to copy your conversion id and open google tag manager you can paste here directly like this but i like to first create one constant variable then uh, i just uh, assign here this variable so here if i select constant constant variable just paste here this conversion id and write this uh, variable name like g adds id okay then save this variable and here again you can see conversion label you have to copy your conversion label from here and just paste here your conversion label that's it and here you can see like conversion value transaction id currency code input field you don't need to put here anything because these three field for e-commerce business and this is our uh, lead form submission conversion so we don't need to put here anything and then scroll down select triggering and trigger will be this when someone submit form that time this tag should fire and now you can uh, tag name like g adds that's it just save your tag so yeah and now we need to send also user information to google ads how you can do that it's very easy <laughs> you have to just select new tag configuration then select um, google ads user provided data event and here you have to assign here your g ads id variable and under user provided data you can see select your user provided data variable that we just create uh, some time ago and triggering will be same this one and just write uh, you don't need to write here your tag name because here already writing so just save it and now time is submit our container after submit our container we need to check everything is working or not google ads enhance lead form submission and one thing this is my client website and this is my live project and now you can maybe thinking why i show you my live project working because i know lots of people try to learning tracking and they are not confident like how to set up tracking for client so that's why i decided to create this video for you so maybe you can watch this video and gain some confident that you can set up lead form submission tracking for your client for your client project okay so now uh, task is complete so that's it now just i need to test it's working or not and i believe it will be working definitely that's it so if you think this video is valuable for you please like the video you can subscribe to my channel and yeah and now if you have maybe one question like i put here my even listener code how you can manage even listener code for your client project um, actually i don't know what is the your client website i mean if your developer build form by elementor uh, app or if your developer build form using other tools software then you need to find out uh, even listener code for that kind of form and i have already video about for elementor form and if you think you need my help you can contact with me definitely i'll create even listener code for you or if you think you need my help to set up tracking for you definitely you can schedule call with me okay and let's test yes i have already uh, preview mode now let's click on 
or send button for testing or tag is fire no when we submit this form like test and now if i submit i mean if i click on send button that time our tag should fire if i go this section like ib form underscore submission now you may be thinking why i put here ib because it's my short name that's why okay so just here you can see our two tag is fire properly one tag is for conversion another one for user information so if i select this and here you can see user information like email phone number it's just working fine okay so yeah that's it that's how you can set up lead form submission for your website